Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to implement a Quarkus MicroProfile application, launch it locally in dev mode and production mode, and then um, provision it as a Lambda function or a Lambda as well. So, and for that, I would like to use an, an um, template, an empty template called uh, AWS function URL CDK only. So we'll use it later. So let's start with the projects. I use the Quarkus CLI app, which creates the projects with the name hello. So uh, what this means is AIX is group ID, hello is the artifact ID, and this is the version. So now launch it with an IDE. And uh, what we can do immediately, delete Docker, because today will be no Docker. And um, so there's a greetings resource. And uh, what I would like to do is to inject another class to make it a little bit more realistic. So uh, greeting. So there's the greeter and application scoped. And here let's inject a config property as well. Config property. And uh, the name the name should be now let's call it prefix and say uh, default value and the default value is uh, M ms millis okay millis so looks good and now call it also prefix prefix okay now a business method uh, which says okay milliseconds and uh, so it's not exactly a greeter but at least something happens prefix and then um, system current time millis okay this should work now greeting resource and I only have to use it and for that add inject greeter greeter and then use here this greeter dot uh, ms for milliseconds. Okay, this should be enough. And uh, what I only have to do is to run Quarkus dev, the Maven plugin which launches Quarkus, and uh, in dev mode, in dev mode means means uh, it. Uh, it is reloaded on demand. So this is Quarkus, it is already started. And the path is hello. Hello, so this looks good. And of course, it is um, hot reloadable. So if I just change it to something like this, it should be immediately visible and it is. Okay, now what I can also do, I can run maven clean package and uh, clean is not really needed, but uh, yeah. And what we see here, it breaks because uh, the uh, unit tests are not adjusted and the easiest way is to delete them. So now run it again. And this should produce a Quarkus jar, which I can execute from command line. And this is Quarkus app and Quarkus run is the name and this launches Quarkus in production mode. So everything happens locally. So now let's deploy this what we have to the cloud. And we have only remember the prefix. This is because I would like to reconfigure this. So how to do that? First, um, I would like to have the uh, setup uh, function URL CDK on the AWS project, which will clone the template I already mentioned from my GitHub account. And I'll call it CDK. So uh, this opens um, automatically another Visual Studio Code window. And let's take, take a look what happens here. So what this basically is, it, it produces an, an executable jar with uh, uh, using AWS SDK version 2 and constructs like prepared construct, like for instance, there's already one Lambda construct. And okay, unit tests we are not using on assertj is also optional and we're using Java 21. Okay, so what's inside or how to use that? So there's a CDK app and what I did, I created a builder to make it nicer, of course, fully optional, but uh, looks looks better. And what is the name of the function? So I would like to call it 
um, hello milliseconds. Okay, and now it asks me, you know, where is the zip function.zip? And we actually don't have function.zip yet, but um, it should be in the, uh, what was the name of the project? I actually forgot. You will see in a second. Hello. Okay, so it will be in hello and it's supposed to be in hello target. Okay. Not yet. Okay. This is basically it. And what the uh, stack builder does, so take a look what happens inside. So there is a function URL stack, which gets the stack builder with all the information. But the, um, the entire thing is based on the function URL here and Quarkus Lambda. And if we take a look at uh, Quarkus Lambda, actually this line, it's a single line, deploys Lambda. So anything else is just, uh, you know, syntactic sugar but this is the meat of the of the template okay so um so now let's fix the other project because we need actually functional zip we don't have it yet what we have is quarkus run but we need function.zip so how to do that so uh we can actually where is the rest assured here we don't need that and instead what i would like to do is I would like to add another dependency and as the others it is in io quarkus namespace group id and the artifact id has something with amazon http so let's search for http and uh, it should be http quarkus amazon lambda http so this looks good okay now maven clean package once again and uh, now just observe what happens with the target. So there, there is um, hello 2021 and there is app with Quarkus run, but now I would like to rerun with Maven clean package. It deleted the target, this was the clean. And what we see now we have functional zip. What means we have exactly the same project packaged as functional zip with a little bit of transformation because what happens in the cloud an HTTP JSON event is going to be um, processed by Quarkus and the same JaxOS API invoked behind the scenes. Okay, now we have everything. So I already have my credentials here, and my uh, cloud, uh, cloud credentials. So um, let's switch to CDK. And there is a file build and deploy, don't ask. And why don't ask? Because um, otherwise it will say, okay, I would like to create this um, permissions and I will have to say, okay, go for it. But uh, let's take a look what happens there. So um, I need the other window. So here it is, here is it. And um, what I would like to do is just to show you th this here. This is basically, it, um, it, it cleans and packages and then says CDK deploy. So it builds the CDK project and then deploys it. So that's, that's all. Now, if the Lambda is deployed, I get an URL and can invoke it. The very first um, call is going to be a cold start and subsequent calls are going to be faster. So this is at least the expectation. So, um, Almost done. So this is the URI. And now let's go ahead and say curl hello. And uh, so this is the coldest start you can get, but as you can see it is already working and the subsequent invocations are fast or faster. So they are actually really fast. So um, if we just go here, you see it is around 0.0. .0. Uh, so roughly 100 milliseconds. Okay, now uh, let's change the configuration. So what I would like to do is I would like to say, okay, um, I would like to override the prefix, right? So how to do that? So um, there is, um, so we have our Lambda. The Lambda is created and our function URL here as well. And we have our stack. So if we check, take a look here, there's a stack builder and the stack builder here invokes function URL stack. 
and the function URL stack, URL stack creates the lambda here. So what I can do, I can say, hey, what I would like to do is to say um, Quarkus Lambda add to configuration and this is prefix and what we could do is, I don't know, something like this. Okay, so um, what, what happens behind the scenes, it adds actually um, this to an hash map and this hash map is passed to the uh, lambdas environment so there is absolute no magic it's just uh, a little bit syntactic sugar so this hash map is going to be enhanced by the prefix and passed to lambda so this looks good so now run it again build and deploy don't ask and we should see after a few seconds or a few seconds 30 seconds 60 seconds uh, a freshly de deployed lambda so the interesting part is uh, I can still launch Quarkus locally and debug it. So um, I have um, th there is no difference in the in the source code. I can run uh, the same Quarkus as a microprofile application. I could run it in Docker on bare metal with uh, as uh, as a jar as an ex executable jar and Lambda at the same time. So now we have it. So let's try to do it again. So it's going to be curl cold start again. Hello, and I would expect a new prefix, the new prefix, and here it is. 